Hello everyone. I'd like to show you a new software for subtitle editing. The application is called PixVis Subtitler. The editing is very intuitive. Here you can see an audio spectrum, which is optimized to suppress noise and highlight speech. You can drag and drop subtitles and resize them. If you want to move multiple subtitles at same time, you can select them. Use keyboard shortcut M to move all of them at once. I can insert new subtitle, split it, or remove. If you want to play the subtitle, it's easy. Just double click on it. Fill these out. Thank you. Or there is this little button. You can mark subtitles with a flag. Maybe you are editing, and you want to return to this particular subtitle later. So you can mark it with a flag. And at any time you can click this little flag here, and return to this marked subtitle. If you want to search something, here is a text box. Let's try right here something and the results are highlighted. One of the most powerful features is automatic subtitle generation. The subtitles are generated automatically with neural network. It can recognize speech in different languages. Let's see how it works. Let's click here. Select the language. And press generate. It will take few minutes. I will speed it up. Now it's completed. The subtitles were generated. As you can see, the speech was recognized. There is another way how to use speech recognition. This subtitle has no text. You can play it by clicking this icon. Okay. Now, let's click this button for speech recognition. Language is English. The speech was recognized. There are three variants. You can choose one of them. By selecting the variant, the text is inserted here into subtitle. Another useful feature is automatic synchronization. Here we have subtitles which aren't aligned properly. As you can see here. The beginning is matching well. But, as we go further, the subtitles are more and more misaligned. So, this is a problem. But I can very easily fix it. Just click this auto align button. And the subtitles are now aligned. If you need more control of this process, there is linear shift feature. Let's see how it works. You can change shift amount and speed. And immediately you can see how the subtitles are being changed. If I click estimate automatically, this will estimate speed and shift amount automatically. And I can make some changes if I want. Another very useful feature is spell checking. As you can see, misspelled words are highlighted. It is because, here, is selected English. There is a lot of languages I can choose from. If I click here, spell checking window is opened. Here I can see all misspelled words and I can easily fix them. Or, each word can be fixed right here by clicking on it. Now let's look on translation guide. Here we have subtitles in English. And let's say we want to translate them to another language. There are two modes. In first mode we can translate whole content at once. If I click this button the whole content is copied to clipboard. You can use Google Translator, Bing Translator or any other. Translate the text.
and then click this button to paste translated text. Many translators are limited to 5000 characters. If the content is too long you may encounter a problem. So there is a second mode to translate by parts. The procedure is very similar. Click copy, translate it, and paste. You can repeat this process several times. Click continue. If you want, you can leave the original text. The next feature I want to show you is optimization. Here you can optimize timing for easier reading of subtitles. The time of subtitles will expand. Subtitles with longer texts could be expanded more than subtitles with shorter text. There are some parameters you can tune. The last feature I want to show you is subtitle burning. There are two modes, soft coded and hard coded. You can select codec, bitrate, font size. The software has three versions, free, pro, and pro max. Free version is limited. It doesn't have AI features. The pro version can do everything, except speech recognition. It can generate subtitles automatically, but with no text. The subtitles are generated, but there is no text there. If you want recognized speech, then you need Pro Max version.